Thank you for considering DevExpress ASP.NET controls and MVC extensions for your software development needs. Deploying a DevExpress-enabled ASP.NET website only requires that you have the proper DevExpress runtime assemblies included with your project. In this demo, I'll show you an easy way from Visual Studio to include these assemblies for deployment and how to deploy to your local host machine. First, run IIS, also known as Internet Information Services. From Sites, right-click on the default website and select the Add Application command. For the alias text box, I'll enter My Application and then select the physical path to the folder where we'd like to deploy the application. I'll copy this value onto the clipboard. Now let's view the web project that we want to deploy in Visual Studio. To ensure that the DevExpress runtime assemblies are included with this project, select All DevExpress Assemblies from the References folder. Now, from the Properties window, set the Copy Local property to True. This will create a local copy of those assemblies into your local project, so when you deploy, you won't have to search for those assemblies. To deploy this, right-click the application and select the Publish command. Create a new Publish profile and give it a name. On the Connection tab, select the File System Publish method. Now, paste the physical path value that we copied from IIS into the Target Location text box. This specifies where the application will be deployed. And finally, click Publish and Visual Studio will deploy the application to our local host. Now you can see the deployed web app at localhost slash my application. You can learn more about website deployment from our documentation. The Redistributable Assemblies General Information topic contains a lot of great information about deployment. It also contains a link to the MSDN deployment topic, which discusses other deployment options. Plus, common deployment issues are listed in the Deployment Troubleshooting Guide and can help you quickly troubleshoot. Thanks for watching. Let's see what develops.